why can't you stop binging? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over the key reason why you can't stop binging, how to finally over. Hello, my name's Harry Evans, and welcome back to the channel. I'm on a mission to raise awareness around binge eating disorder. If you don't know me, please do go and check out my first video on how I stop binge eating. And for those who are new around here, so let's be honest, you're all probably pretty new. I was a former binge eater. I had binge eating disorder for over two years straight during the COVID-19 pandemic and then after. I have now fully recovered from binge eating and I'm a happy, healthy, functioning human being. And I'm on a mission to raise awareness around binge eating disorder, how you can finally stop binge eating if you do have it, how you can finally achieve your fitness related goals wherever you have them. So if you want to discover why you can't stop binge eating, how to finally overcome it, then please do consider sticking around because I feel I'm in the best position to give you advice on how to overcome binge eating. If you are new around here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel because I'm trying to make binge eating a serious issue that we can all talk about in open discussion and help those who are suffering. As well, if you're interested in health and fitness, then please consider sticking around because I feel like I've got good advice to give you there around a array of different topics, especially in my last video where I covered three key areas that I feel like we should all focus on our lives to be better human beings. So if you are interested in that, please do go and check it out. But in today's video, I want to go over the main key reason why you are still in Indian. At least it took me a while to, to, to understand. So when I was in in COVID-19, I was on this drive to try and get leaner. I was always obsessed with body composition and how lean I looked and <laughs> was my six pack showing. I was always on YouTube looking for videos on body fat percentage. And, you know, Greg Doucet, Jeff Cavalier. Have a look, oh, am I, am I 10%, am I 12%, am I, God forbid, 15%. I think 15% is fat. But I would always be really obsessed and you know, like all of us nowadays, I've been looking on social media Flicking through, having a look who's leaner than me, who's not, who's bigger, being really body obsessed. Body image was my driver for around my health and fitness. And this was a huge, huge issue. Because I had this, obviously, this, this desire to get leaner, this body composition that I wanted, which was, of course, a better one than I was in at, the, at, that, at that minute, because it always is better, we always want more. I then reduced my calories to a stupid amount. I was eating about 1,300 calories a day at some point, restricting, and then obviously this was too little, and I would then binge on everything. I then tried to fix my binge eating by, you know, eating more, watching videos like this, learning a bit more about stuff, but I was still stuck in the restrictive mindset, and that's the key reason. We get restrictive mindset because we diet so much to try and achieve a certain body composition. Like I was, I wanted to achieve six pack abs. I wanted to get leaner, leaner, leaner. I wanted to look shredded on the beach. I wanted to be the shreddest in my group. I wanted to be just the most aesthetic I could possibly be. To be honest with you, I don't even know why. And if, it's, if you're watching this and you're wondering, oh, why do I want to be it? And your main reason is because you want to look good on Instagram or you want to look good for, for girls and so on. Don't care about it because trust me now, nobody cares. Nobody on your Instagram cares how shredded you are. And the girls, they certainly don't care. They probably prefer it more if you go out, have a bevy, have a few chips of them on a date than being so health conscious. But I get a bit sidetracked. Restrictive mindset is when we view food as a tool just to get leaner. I would calculate all my decisions on what had the lowest calories in it because I wanted to get leaner, leaner, leaner. You'll go out for a meal and you'll look across the menu 
and you'll pick a salad because you think that's the lowest calorie option because you're in that restrictive mindset of food is only a tool that I can extrapolate to get leaner. This is what I would do. I'll always pick the lower calorie options. Even when I try to stop binge eating, I would have a big tea. Well, I would have breakfast, lunch, a snack, all again, lowest calorie options. And then my final meal of the day, I would have a big tea because I wanted to go, go home, go to bed, full up, not hungry. Then, if I felt like I wanted a dessert, that would be cheating for me because I was in a restrictive mindset. People who want to get leaner, people who are dieting, in my head, didn't have dessert. So if I was going to then have dessert, I was not fulfilling that goal of getting leaner. And this is obviously a huge issue when you're binge eating because the key to stopping binge eating is allowing you to eat. So in that example of I want a dessert, but I was still stuck in the restrictive mindset of no, no, I can't have a dessert, this would trigger the binge. And that's why a restrictive mindset triggers binges because it stops you from eating. The main key to stopping binge eating is allowing yourself to eat. The goal should be to eat, not to binge. Whereas I was eating, but still in the back of my mind, restricting. I wouldn't have dessert, I wouldn't have cheese, I wouldn't have sauce because I was still conscious about restricting and having too many calories. This will stop you from being binge free. But then obviously that raises the question, how can we eat normally, quote unquote normally? How can we move past this restrictive mindset so we can finally overcome the binge? Well, I think number one is awareness videos like this and obviously researching and having self-awareness around the fact because when I started my journey I didn't even know what binge eating was so if you're watching this video around binge eating you're already miles ahead of where I was so you know well don't give yourself a pat on the back you probably got a lot shorter journey than I had of overcoming binge eating but to come out of that restrictive mindset we need to look past this obsession with body image my main goal when it came to health and fitness was to look leaner and look the most aesthetic forget that goal for now i'm not saying you can never diet again you can never train to get leaner i'm not saying that i have done prior to beating sorry after beating the binge now but to move past this restrictive mindset you've got to change your mindset around food you've got to eat with the intention of not binging that's the only rule you should set do not care how many calories is in a meal if it's a pizza a full pizza yeah and previously if you had a full pizza you would then go and eat a box of cookies or then eat a load of digestive biscuits or eat a load of crisps more 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 chocolate more 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 crisps blah blah blah, blah nuts whatever whatever was in the cupboard just because you'd had a pizza that is a binge whereas now if you eat a pizza like people do you might even have a dessert such as a brownie or something after it that is okay it's not the most healthy as a meal and i would advise obviously to try and pick healthier options but as long as you eat food and it's not a binge and a binge is something that makes you feel ashamed, disgusted, you feel, then that's when it's a binge. And that's when you need to start eating quote unquote normally. So just eat meals where you feel normal. These may be big weights for the quote unquote normal people in the world. People will say things like, oh, you have a massive appetite and that's fine. That's okay. But as long as it's not a binge, I, I can define what a binge is if you, if you need that just comment down below if you want to know what 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 constitutes as a, as a binge what constitutes as an episode but if you have one meal and it's bigger than the rest then that's okay as long as you're not in that restrictive mindset so move away from it move away from that objective of just eating to cut or bulk that way you'll move out of this restrictive mindset and your new mindset should be to purely eat just not to binge 
If you need any help with the way this works, then please do comment down below and I'll be happy to share my thoughts. Also, please comment down below and let me know your experience with binge eating disorder and the main reason why you think people can't move past binge eating disorder. And it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be really interesting to hear your thoughts. So I do hope you got some value out of this and I'll be back again raising awareness around binge eating disorder and helping you achieve your fitness goals. If you could please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful in any way possible. And I'll be back there again. We can beat the binge and we can do it together. See you soon.